Hello everyone, my name is Chao Yiki and metric number 265744. In this video, I would like to present the best practice of tourism planning and development in the United States. As all we know, as all we know, the United States is well known for its national parks. According to Statistics Research Department 2020, National Park in the United States attract millions of visitors each year due to their vast capacity for outdoor recreation. For example, Great Smoky Mountain, the Grand Canyon, Yellowstone in the U.S. are among the world's well-known national park due to its breathtaking natural landmarks, camping opportunity, and abundance of wildlife. However, in the U.S., a national park is a federally protected area of land set aside for con conservation purpose. Next. Hence, the United States National Park Service, MPS, launched the practice of responsible tourism for the benefit of the national parks for all and for the enjoyment of all its residents and foreign visitors to National Park. For your information, MPS is an agency of the U.S. Department of the Interior, which is in charge of maintaining and managing several hundred historical sites, national parks, and other federally designated properties. The agency was established in 9016 9, by President Woodrow Wilson and signed into law stipulated to conserve the history, scenery, and natural objects to leave them undamaged for future gener generations to enjoy. Now, let me tell you what is responsible tourism and why it is the best practice. Responsible tourism is a tourism management approach which aims to maximize social, economic, and environmental benefits while minimizing negative impact on a destination. According to the Tourism Department of the City of Cape Town, responsible tourism is concerned with creating better places for people to visit as well as better places for people to live in which require all stakeholders involved, such as hoteliers, tourists, local residents, to take responsibility and take action to make tourism more sustainable. In addition, the concept of responsible tourism is where everyone needs to play their role in making tourism safer. In my point of view, I think responsible tourism practice developed by MPS is recognized as the best practice because it can maximize the benefits to local communities and minimize negative social or environmental impact, helping local people to preserve fragile culture and habitat to achieve sustainable development through tourism. Uh, beside that, the objective of responsible tourism introduced by MPS not only wants to offer beautiful natural scenery to tourists or campers who visit national parks, but also aims to educate tourists about the significance of protecting natural resources and retaining the beauty of Mother Nature. Other than that, the United States Travel Care Court has been developed and managed by Purdue University Sustainable Tourism as Responsible Travel Labs in order to encourage people to travel responsibly and provide travelers with an easy instruction in order to reducing their travel environmental impact. The Travel Care Corp program also collaborate with MPS to deliver the measures of responsible travel and good guest behavior. So, to support the responsible travel, they also provide a wide variety of resources and tools to destination marketing groups and tour operators. In addition, the seven leave no trace principle will be listed in every entrance of na national park, 
which is a framework of low impact behavior for everyone exploring the outdoors to remind visitor or camper to always bear in mind and adhere to this principle. For example, respect any animals and wildlife you might encounter. We do not feed any animals unless you are specifically given permission and avoid picking flowers no matter how beautiful. Moreover, under current pandemic situation, government of US continue to heading towards to create a responsible tourism, which would also help avoid the spread of the COVID-19 to give inbound and outbound traveler assurance when they travel to US. Regardless to vaccinators, vaccination status, US federal law mandates all people to wear medical masks at all times while taking any mode of public transportation. Since the COVID-19 pandemic in the US is still not fully eliminated, as such, it is the traveler responsibility to ensure to comply with the policy at all times while traveling in order to make tourism safer. Now, I will tell you what Malaysia can learn from the US. In Malaysia, there are a number of national parks. All parks and reserves in Peninsula Malaysia are under the jurisdiction of the Department of Wildlife and National Parks and two of the famous national parks, namely Gunung Mulu National Parks and Kinabalu Parks, have been listed as natural UNESCO World Heritage Sites since year 2000. However, in recent years, there are a lot of climate changes and environmental hazards that are lit due to extensive irresponsible travelling of people. Hence, Malaysia should follow the step of the U.S. in promoting and introducing responsible tourism in order to make positive contribution to the conservation of natural and cultural heritage in national parks to maintain of the world's diversity. Besides that, government may work hand in hand with the Department of Wildlife and National Parks of Malaysia together to introduce responsible tourism to help to promote sustainable tourism in a way by realizing that one day our children will travel to the same places. And so they should be maintained properly from now on. That's all from me. Thank you.